What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards TV. In this class, we're going to see a simple list view example in C Sharp. Okay, this is a C Sharp tutorial. We'll see how to populate a list view from an array. The list view will comprise of three columns. And then we're going to see how to get the selected item and show it in our message box. This is what we're going to build. So let's get started. So what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to Creation Program with us TV. In this class, we're going to cover how to populate a list view. Okay, now we saw in uh, the example. So the first thing is to go and create our project. Now you just move over to your Visual Studio, then create a new empty project, a console project. Don't choose the Windows form, instead choose the console because you want to start from scratch. So first and foremost, we're going to specify the namespace. Now, classes in C-Sharp normally reside in namespaces. So this namespace is going to host our class. That class we call program. It's a static class. We're going to have several imports. We specify our imports using the using directive. So using system, using system.drawing, using system.windows.forms. Then inside this, our static class, we're going to have a static list view, a let property, a field that we're calling my list view then we'll come first and foremost we're going to set up a three columned list view with detail view so we come and then instantiate the list view right here my list view equal to new list view then using the object initializer syntax we'll set the location of the property the size the view now as you can see we're using the view dot details then we'll also set the full row select then the alignment property we'll set the alignment property to snap to grid then we'll come and then add the first column so my list view dot columns dot add name then we specify the column width then the second column category we specify its width as well then the third one the distance in light years we also specify its width then we're going to register an event handler to our list view so we're going to be listening to the item selection changed event okay so we can create a specify the event handler then we come and create the event handler my list view item selection changed now this event handler is taking in an object called sender as well as a list view item selection changed event tags object so inside it the first thing we're going to do we'll check if an item is selected so we come and check if e dot is selected then this is what we're going to do we're going to get the list view item so list view item equal to a dot item now then we come and say message box dot show list view item dot sub items dot text we obtain its text property and show it in our list view so then we come and then populate our list view with data okay so private static void populate data then string nebula so in the this is a nebula right here this string array is going to contain for us the nebula we have the host head the black widow the ghost head etc these are our nebula so we have them in a string array then this right here is going to constitute our very first column in that particular list view then we're going to have the nebula categories as well to constitute our second column the third column in our list view is going to comprise of random integers these integers will use them uh, as our distances in light years so for each string nebula in nebula this is what we come and do my list view dot items dot add then of course we instantiate the list view item class and then pass it right here an array okay as you can see the array consists of first the nebula the nebula name then this the nebula category now for the nebula category you are selecting them randomly by passing in r.next then we pass in the range from 0 to 5 of which 0 is inclusive while 5 is exclusive then r.next 9 to 9999 9 is inclusive 9999 is exclusive and then we cast it to string then we'll come and then create our windows form so we come right here of course we come from my form equal to new form then we come text 
we, we informs this view array example that's the title then we set the clan size the background color of the form as well then my form dot controls dot add we add my list view to the controls property of our form then application dot enable visual styles then application dot run we pass in the my form which is the instance of our form this will run the form then we come have our main method which is the entry point to our c sharp application so we come inside right here first and foremost we're going to invoke the setup list view then we invoke the populate data then we invoke the create metro form okay now i go ahead i run the project and there i have my large form you can see right here if i click an item we're able to get the item that's been clicked and show it in a message box so guys you can see this right here is our list view like this video share it make sure you guys subscribe to our channel programming users tv if you haven't and take care i'll catch you in the next class